Hi, you are watching Trucker Josh videos on YouTube featuring Diesel Weasel, Chevy, Frankie, and Brit. Have a great day. Good morning, Weasel. Good morning, Weasel. Who's that over there? Who's that? Who's that? That's Chevy. Good morning, Chevy. Sure looks like a beautiful day out today. Oh, yes. Not too hot. Not too cold. Perfect. Look at this lawn, though. Look at it. Looks terrible. The whole yard needs to be cut this weekend, so that's... One thing we're doing this weekend. Uh, today we're actually going into Winnipeg. We have that fertility appointment that we both need to be for be there for. Uh, it's a specialist appointment, so it's it's a special appointment that we had to uh, make a special arrangement to be at. And we can't really reschedule these very quickly because specialists. So we're going into that today. I've also got a, another chiropractor appointment today to get myself aligned again. The last time I went, it really helped out. My back has been a lot better since then, but I can still tell it's a little bit out. So we're going to go get that aligned. And then we're going to come back home and I've got to work on some videos. Well, what is this horsefly one? What do you want, buddy? Got some crazy horseflies going on around here. So I guess we should get this day started. Let's go into Winnipeg. Chevy. Where are you where are you going? Where are you going? Weirdo. 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 Don't call me weirdo. <laughs> and off they go. Ready to go? Mm-hmm. Do we got everything? Yep. Wallet, phone, keys. Everything Husband. else? Husband, wife. We're good. You got me, I got you. Okay. Yeah, we're good. I hate it if I forgot you. We're wearing pants, so I mean, that's a good sign. Oh, thank God. All right. You never know. Look at all this wood that Brit cut up last time. Split. Oh, she, <laughs> she split it. <laughs> I can't swing an axe to save my life. Taking the wife mobile. Because it's got gas. Does it? Yeah, it's got full tank. Remember, we filled up. Right, right, I recall. And there she is. She likes me. She likes me. Mongo's Grill. We were too late for our chiropractor appointment. We would have been 20 minutes late, so they rescheduled us in for the afternoon after our fertility appointment. So in the meantime, we got some time to kill, so I'm hungry. He asked what I wanted for lunch. I wanted something healthy, a noodle-free stir fry. Do you guys have Mongo's Grill where you are or is it a Canadian thing? Uh -huh. Or is it a Winnipeg thing? I'm not too sure. Mongo's it's really Grill. good though. It's like a, what, it's like an Asian stir fry, right? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a build your own stir fry place and then they fry it up on a big stone. That's a Japanese thing, right? Somewhere from out there. Really good though. Oriental. I'd recommend it. Yes. <laughs> Is that the right thing to say now? I can't keep up with all the right words to use. Yeah, I'm not very politically correct, but sometimes I hear word on the street and then I use it. Oh, okay. They need like a dictionary, like an, uh, a digital one that changes every time the word proper, like politically correct words change. Yeah, I'm not that concerned about it. <laughs> so this is what we meant by stir fry. You gotta build it yourself. Right back over there. When they cook it for you right in front of you, it comes out like this or like that. Mine's noodle free, but it's still gonna be darn good. Whew. I'm full. Me too. I'm really full. It took me a second plate, but I'm full. <laughs> it's a lot of vegetables. So we're on our way to our for for our for our what? Ebbity bidi bidi bidi. Exactly. Porky pig that appointment we're on our way to our fertility appointment now it's on the other side of the city or it's around polo park if you're familiar with winnipeg 24 minutes away according to 
Google. According to Google, <laughs> we can English real good. Real goods. 24 minutes according to Google. That's how you know we're full and that we had a good meal. We can't even talk. Yeah, we need a fat nap. <laughs> Function. This is it, apparently. Here we go. Seventh floor. Almost the top floor. Almost. Wow. We've almost made it. Here we are, we just got into the room. Doctor will be in shortly. I took my weight. Too much, too much. The number was too big. <laughs> Keep on this diet. Way too personal. It's gotta be, it's fertility. <laughs> what do you want? You've got a nice office view here. Check that out. Looking out over the city. Can I push the buttons? No, it's an ultrasound machine. But I wanna push the buttons. No, Josh. Do you want me to give you an internal? That's what that wand's for. That one? Yeah. Did I have to be here? <laughs> All right, so we both got Several more tests we need to go through. She's got a few more than me. And medications for me. But we won't go into all the little details other than that. It's another blood test and another, uh, special, they need another sample here instead of over there. It's a, it's a different test, but they'll need another sample from me. So we're gonna go and get a couple of our blood tests done today. Get as much done as we can today as possible. Then I gotta try and get to the chiropractor yet before they close if possible. So I don't know if that's gonna work now, but if not, it's okay. There are more important things to get done. Like baby making. Like babies. At least we're uh, taking another big step in the right direction. They got me good. They stuck you. They stole my blood. They stuck me too. Stole your blood too. They only stole one of yours. They stole three of mine. You got three stolen? Three of them. They should pay us three for that. Bloods. That is valuable blood. That's as valuable as gold. Probably the best blood out there. Yeah. I'm positive. I have no idea what mine is. Mine's red. <laughs> mine too. Dark red. Maybe and you're A positive. I got a compliment. She said I had great blood pressure. Yeah? Mm hmm. So it looked at Violet. Like... I had very little veins. <laughs> but she got it first try, so that was pretty amazing. So that's not the end of it. We have to go to another medical clinic now and give more blood. And she's got to give another urine sample yet. We Ooh. won't we won't film that whole thing, but I'm gonna get a little personal. Gonna get uh, uh, more blood stolen from me today. I'm actually donating it. I'm a good guy. That's why. I'm not sure that we're gonna have any left by the end of this, but we'll have <laughs> coffee in our veins. Yeah, we need coffee. That's yeah. I guess after we do the blood test. Heck we'll... no! I want coffee now. Now? I need something to fill this bladder. I just emptied it in there. Okay, we need to go get coffee first. <laughs> and this medical clinic is open till 10 p.m. Can you imagine? 10 p.m. That's the only one I've ever seen. Usually they close at like 4 o'clock, and if you show up there at like 1, they'll be like, no, you're too late. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Sorry, we close in three hours. That's way too close. <laughs> yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is iced caffeine in a cup. have ice sugar with a splash of caffeine. It's a hot day. And I got an espresso shot in it. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Better than their coffee flavored water that they got here. I used to be such a big Tim Hortons fan. Now it's just, now I've seen the world. I've seen what's out there. I've lived. 
Tim Hortons, their coffee is just not that good. I mean, it's not bad. I'm not saying it tastes bad. It's just, it's so weak. It doesn't taste like coffee to it's me. It's old people coffee, like senior home coffee. Whenever older people, like anyone over the age of 65, or even over the age of 60, that makes coffee always makes it so weak. And you always hear older people complaining about how strong coffee is. <laughs> always. Cut it with water then. Cut it with water. Yeah, so I end up just getting my coffee at the truck stop because they always have decent taste in coffee. It tastes like coffee. I agree with that. You could get it to taste like coffee here, but then you got to pay extra because you got to add an espresso shot or two into it here. So The dark roast is okay. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I think it's just sort of been there, done that with Tim Hortons. It's not that special anymore. It's it's so common and so popular everywhere. And it's such a, is cliche the right word already? Oh, you're Canadian. You're drinking Tim Hortons. Mm. Cliche. Cliche. No, it's it's not bad. I mean, try it out for yourself. But I think it's just old to me personally. It's just getting old. It's like crazy hipsters. They drink Starbucks. Cliche. That I am not going. I'm not saying that I like Starbucks. Just because I'm saying I'm sort of growing out of Tim Hortons does not mean I'm going to Starbucks. McDonald's coffee, all the way. McDonald's coffee's good. Yeah. Their iced coffee's really good too. It's not as sweet as Tim Hortons. Starbucks. I don't know what they're doing but I don't like to drink tar that is the straight so there's like Tim Hortons is too weak Starbucks is way too strong opposite ends of the spectrum yeah opposite ends I like I'm right in the middle right in the middle McDonald's so I have my wife with me so naturally we ended up here this is the Oak Ridge Garden Center in Steinbeck we're just on our way home we're uh, looking for a plant or something to get Britt's friend Sabrina for her birthday. Yeah, it's her birthday tomorrow. A rose bush of some sorts. She's been asking for one of our wild rose bushes, but I don't know how to transplant those. So if we can find one here, I'd like to get her a rose bush. Hmm. I actually kind of like this stuff too. It's just I'm not very good at decorating and stuff. That's what she comes in. She's good. I just like whatever she does. I'm not very good at keeping plants alive. This is all very new to me, and it's a huge learning curve, and I'm just not that good at it. I'm not really a big fan of when they cut these pines, or these blue spruces, sort of like trees. I think it's supposed to be like that. That's weird. But this is the part of the garden center I like, all the trees. If I could have a couple of thousand dollars just to come out here and spend on trees, I'd be a happy man. Is that weird? I don't think so. I think I'm just getting older. Imagine, 10 years ago, I would have spent a couple of thousand dollars on something very different. Now I'm 31 and I'm here at the garden center being like, man, a couple thousand dollars would be real nice right now. <laughs> all of this. I know we have lots of trees on our property already, but uh, we don't have all of these. And we could organize them and shape them because we're trying to transform our yard into something you know, the image that we want it to be, not just all wild. We have quite a bit of property to work with too, so it's, I want to make it like a, an oasis. By the time we retire, I'd like to, to be like a little retirement oasis for us. And also for our parents, you know, when they get to that point as well. I'd love for them to be able to come and just relax on our property. And feel like, you know, they're at a resort somewhere. It'll take a lot of money. I don't know if we'll ever get to that, but running out of trees to look at. And as I get older, I find it more and more fascinating watching these trees grow and all the trees on our property. You can see some of the northern pines we have on our property have grown over two feet just this year already. It's crazy. You can see exactly how far it grew this year, how far it grew last year taking more I think both of us are taking more of an interest in plants and stuff finding anything good I mean they all look a little dry and like obviously picked through but they will spring back up and they've got some beautiful ones I'm really liking this one but check out these leaves like I'm wondering if it's sickly like I'm not mm -hmm. seeing any other rose buds 
kind of wanted to get her a yellow one because it's the color of friendship, but that's okay. Let's decide on something else. Get that itch, Diesel. Get it. Feel better? Well, we're back at home, and our groundhog situation is escalating again. We've got a new entrance here. I see a bunch of dirt kicked up over there by our gas meter. That means now she's living under the garage, which is unacceptable. So we've got this live trap here again. Some apples in there. Hopefully we'll catch this groundhog and be able to relocate her tonight. Well, relocate her tomorrow, catch her tonight type deal. So let's go see over here. Look at all this sand that got kicked up here. This was not here before. Aha, uh -huh, see? It's another hole in the entrance right there. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, what is this doing here? What is this? Put this here. So it looks like I'm gonna put the, the live trap right here. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get them. Oh. Country life. Pests everywhere. Pests. Incognito. I wish I had a trail cam that I could just put on it so we can actually watch him get caught. See his entrance? From in there, he's got an entrance on the other side of this chicken wire too. He'll smell the apples, he'll come out here, sniffing around, or he'll come around that way. Down around through here where his little trail is. Down through here, and back. <gasps> apples! And kaboom, we got him. And he'll go further out into the forest. Far away from here. The main thing we gotta worry about is Frankie getting caught in there. Cause if he goes over there to go and do his business, realizes that there's apples in there, we might catch a wiener instead of a groundhog. Wild Wienerwurfen. So while we were gone, we brought this hummingbird feeder inside to clean it and stuff, but we have a problem with ants getting in there and you know, Drowning, dying, so we didn't want that. So while we took the hummingbird feeder down, on this trip we put some uh, some ant poison or whatever, just up on top of the ledge there. Just, you know, some of that ant stuff where they come and take a little bit, take it back to their queen and stuff. They took the whole thing. The whole little like, you know, one of those little circular ant poison things or ant thing, ant bait, ant traps. Ant traps. It was right here on the ledge, gone. Nowhere to be seen, they took the whole thing because it's nowhere it's not in any of my flower crappy looking flower pots it's not on the porch it's nowhere <laughs> they took the whole thing greedy little buggers okay well good good all the ants. yeah take it back to your queen spread it around there's a fly on my lens you see that rude he's gonna well, a long day running around Winnipeg, and here we are at home, and look at what my wife is doing. Look at this. I'm trying to figure out where I doubled up, where'd I go wrong? Oh, that's where. Okay. Where'd you go wrong? You didn't put enough meat inside the- I think I'm short a slice of ham. Oh no. I'll live. So what are these? Tell the good people. Pizza stuffed bell peppers. Pizza stuffed bell peppers. So I, put, I put pizza sauce in them. Huh? And then I put sliced pizza meats. This sub trio. Okay. And then okay. I put cheese. And then I put black olives. And then I put more meat. And now I'm going to put more cheese and more black olives. And then I'm going to bake them. And then I'm going to eat them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Oh, here comes the cheese. Here comes the cheese. Here comes cheese. the cheese. Oh, and the other Something's dessert. beeping here too. Yep. Oh, I'm getting excited. It's the first time I've ever made these, so if they don't turn out, don't judge me. I won't judge you. I just really wanted pizza, but I don't eat crust anymore, so still get the good flavor. Still get the veggies in. But I don't get all the empty carbs. Oh, crap. I've got an awesome wife. She makes so much good food for me. You got an awesome husband? Well, I got an awesome wife, hey. Same Same. There we go. And that's it. That's it. That's all for tonight. That meal was delicious.
She continues to amaze me with her ability to make great food. I mean, I could make some good food too, but not on that level. That's so good. So we're in the middle of watching this movie right now, uh, a medieval, a midi not a medieval horror, but a medieval murder, I think, on Netflix. We were watching it out here, but uh, I think we're going to take this party from here. And we're going to move it on down the road into here. Because <laughs> I'm tired. That air conditioning is making this room ice cold, and I love it. I can't sleep unless if I'm cold. So if I'm too warm, I won't sleep. So I don't know how they did it 100 years ago, but thank God for air conditioning and the man who invented it. He's my hero. I'm going to end this vlog right here. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to be home for a couple of days, guys. So there'll be a couple of home vlogs tomorrow. Uh, I've got to run in to see the doctor. And what else are we doing? Picking up the prescriptions that we got prescribed by the doctor today because we forgot to do that today. Got to do that tomorrow. I'll run a couple errands and then we're... Uh, oh, excuse me. I'm tired. We're going to come back here and uh, work on the yard and work on some videos and just hang around the house tomorrow. So I hope you join us. I'll try to make it as fun as possible. Every day is fun, right? Every day. But there'll be a new vlog tomorrow for you to watch. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I'm Steve Berg. And I'm from Rogers, Minnesota. And you're watching TJV. Don't forget to mash that like button.